Greetings to my raccoon committee. Today, I wanted to spread awareness for EDS. I've been dealing with that for a long time, although it wasn't a clean and clear line. I will go into what EDS is and throughout my life with this condition. So EDS, unlike ED, um, EDS means Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I will sh shorten the term to EDS for this video, although I may switch between throughout. So please know they mean the same thing. I would like to say, just like other disabilities, there isn't only one type of EDS, um, which means not everyone is going to have the exact same EDS, so others might experience it more. I will not go into the others since I'm not well versed with them. I do suggest doing some research in others if you do wish. Um, there are around 13 types, which is why I don't want to go into all of them. Uh, my type is Hypermobility Ehlers-Danlos, which is one of the most common. It is also one of the types that doesn't need previous genetic history, which means I could be the first. My EDS, uh, Hypermobility like I said, basically gives me super flexible joints and being able to push my body to limits that would be mistaken for playing car tag a little too much. I'm not sure if I can say what I actually want to say, but I like the term car tag more. Uh, although it makes me unable to run for long periods of time due to weak joints and muscles, Running could result in my ankles, knees, and hip joints giving out, along with my ankles feeling like something is broken or twisted. The muscles in my legs are the weakest, causing me to have to use a cane as a mobility aid from day to day, uh, along with any time I leave the house. So, for those who don't know, a mobility aid is something that basically just helps me move around like senior citizens using canes, um, people who are paralyzed using wheelchairs, um, people who broke a leg using crutches, stuff like that is considered mobility aids. So starting out with elementary, throughout my life, um, elementary has been the least to do with EDS, but so EDS didn't have much to do with my early life. Uh, the most I could remember would be that running was always a problem, that we're getting tired or out of breath easy. Although I was able to run more than I could in middle school, um, going on from that, my middle school was when I was hit the hardest. I'll go grade by grade to better organize this, although I'll keep each grade short and a bullet point list, unless I need to explain it. Uh, so starting out with sixth grade, because that's when my middle school did start. Um, this grade was fuzzy due to it being the COVID year. Can I say that? I think I can. Pretty sure. We're gonna hope. Please, YouTube, don't take this down. <laughs> Spreading awareness. That'd be ableism. Totally. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I went halfway into the year to in person. Uh, when I did go back, I had to take regular PE due to nothing else being available yet. I remember we had to run a mile around the track and partially around a grassy area. This was when I actually started the miserable experience of undiagnosed EDS. Um, I'll try and give a picture of, like, the route they had us take. I doubt it will be, like, 100% accurate, but it sucked. 
even the people who could run normally sucked. Um, going into seventh grade, uh, this year I had taken dance instead of PE to fulfill the credit. Uh, it was still terrible. No hate to the teacher. She was awesome. Um, it was just the class. It had been more fun, uh, but anything that didn't include holding on to the railing was very difficult. Sometimes I was far too tired and sore to get changed into what they wanted us to change into. Um, especially since this was around the time I was going into body issues as well, due to people not being nice at all. Um, yeah. Eighth grade, um, my last year of middle school. This was the year I was fin finally able to get into theater uh, in middle school. Uh, this comes up later. There was no PE this year due to getting the credits out of the way, although walking through the hallways required clinging onto the walls or using my parental friends, or as I like to call them, friend-opted friends, uh, as canes. At one point, we had two plays. The one that belongs better here would be our competition play, uh, The Cages We Built. I would like to go into more depth in another video, but not in this one. But it is a play about a child's mental health after a life of, um, not great childhood due to an absent father and neglectful mother. But it was, it was still a good play. Very much so. It was a fun play to work on. Um, so if you're comfortable with certain topics uh, i heavily recommend go finding a video of the cages we build um back on track the teacher asked the class if someone would step up to be stage manager and technical director uh or she would pick she asked since the heaviness of the play it was if someone was uncomfortable acting in the play, uh, I asked to be stage manager since I doubted myself with how much standing most of the characters did. Uh, ninth grade, this is where a lot more happened, so I will try not to go rambling too much. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. I had to do PE for one year to get a credit. I wanted to get out of it. I wanted to get it out of the way. Sorry. Uh, but didn't realize how much running the PE coach would make us do. They should have called it, um, cardio class instead of physical education or torture. Torture would work good. Um, my family had been fighting doctors in the school to try and calm the class down for me since I do fall under the disability term. I have given a note that takes me out of physical exercise, although I can't be taken out of the class due to how far it is through the year. Um, so the note was turned in because I wasn't aware of certain things, like a test at the end of the year, not end of the year, halfway through the year. Um, so... Although, back at the beginning of the year, I didn't use a cane due to my parents not believing me. After a while, I managed to convince them something was going on. Thankfully, they let me keep the cane, and I just wish I could have seen the consequences that came from it. Starting off with the social aspect, my cane never got me bullied. It just caused issues when I ran from what I believed would have been around a five to six foot in length hallway, uh, racing my friends as a joke. Obviously, I lost, but that gave everyone a medical degree to say, Oh, look, the disabled kid ran. 
Looks like they're perfectly fine. No, I wasn't. I smacked my head into the wall because I tripped. But nobody saw it because I guess no one gave a shit. I would walk through the hallways or mostly in my gym class. I would get the occasional figure. You're not disabled. Mind you, at this time, I joked with my friends. I stress with my friends that I was the grandpa or cripple of the group. Um, it is seen as, I believe, a derogatory term or a slur. Um, but, you know, angsty high schooler is going to use it to describe themselves because they can. But other people saw that as, oh, they're saying it only to their friend group. You fake cripple, cripple, etc. Although I put off talking about this, I felt that it would be something I would rather have out there. Um, I am scared. I go in and out of doctors. I've done a blood test, although previous ones were for ADHD meds. It is still scary. But I'm a theater kid. My brother was a theater kid. My family is close to the directors of the de theater department at my school. But I feel inadequate. Or lesser than. A lot of the people in the theater... Um, I feel like I'm too fragile for it. I'm worried I can't do acting due to needing mobility aids to walk, and that would cause me to not fit many parts. Although, um, I would probably just get a background character or something. So, I've been doing the tech part. I've been helping out build sets. Uh, but I worry constantly that I won't soon be able to do that since I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to needing more mobility aids, uh, including a wheelchair. This is something that keeps me up at night and has caused several mental breakdowns. I'm sorry to leave this video on a sad note. I wanted to show that disabilities happen to kids as well. I'm barely in my teens, and I am scared. I worry that I'm judged by older people for using my cane. Scared I'm never going to be able to do what I love. I'm just glad that I have a foot in the door for voice acting. Although, I would still love to do some on-screen acting as well. But I don't see much of a future in that. I wish I could run around and play like the other kids. I risk fainting without my cane due to needing to lock my knees to stay standing. There is so, so much more. But this is Alex signing out. Stay safe, don't play car tag, and I love you. My raccoon committee.